Hey everyone, welcome to OC's Daily Meditation. We come every day, get a short 3-5 to five minute meditation in, and follow up with an affirmation to help guide you towards having a positive day today. I really think it's important to develop, to develop some type of ritual or meditation practice to help train yourself to like be in that mindset or that state of awareness and calm, centered focus of how you want your day to go. You don't necessarily have to do the meditations that we do here every day, but you should find something, whether it's um, reading a couple pages from a book, or quietly listening to music, um, whatever it is that you can do that will put you in a state of just calm, centered awareness. It's important to develop some type of practice like that. So, just wanted to touch base with you this morning and, and let you know because this meditation, it might not be for everybody, but the purpose of meditation is to get you to a certain place where you feel calm, centered, and aware of yourself, of your environment, of what's going around you, of what's important to you, of um, directing your attention to how you want your life to be and how you want to feel and um, how you want to grow as a person. All right, but for today, we're going to do a meditation. So go ahead and sit up straight. We're going to close your eyes and take a nice deep breath. Focus all of your attention and awareness on your breathing. If your mind drifts a little bit, that's okay. Just return your attention back onto your breath as many times as needed. And once our meditation is complete, I'll gently pull us out of it to discuss our affirmation. All right, sitting up straight, eyes closed, nice deep breath.
completes our meditation for the day. Our daily affirmation is, life is an adventure. Life is an adventure. Life is an adventure. So I want to talk about um, how you frame your thinking and your perception. So, uh, to use an, a specific example, just uh, a couple days ago, um, after work, my wife was going to return a loaner car and to um, pick up our car, which was in the shop, because we was getting some stuff fixed. And um, she had somewhere to be afterwards. I was at home with the kids. And then on her way back, she realized she forgot some things that she needed to go to where she was going. So um, she was going to need us to come out and meet her uh, to bring her the things that she needed. She felt guilty about it because it was getting closer to the kids' bedtime and it was raining a little bit she didn't want me to have to bring the kids out to, to go meet her so she was very conflicted and you know it wasn't a big deal to me so i told her don't worry about it we'll, we'll come meet you and bring you what you need and um the kids were in a good mood but it was one of those situations where we had started like movie night and you never know with the kids it could go one way or the other you know with disappointment and things like that but they were in you know a pretty good mood but let's say that they weren't let's say that they were very upset about it um, what I would have done and how what I did anyways even though they weren't in a bad mood was I framed it as an adventure I said all right kids uh, mommy needs her stuff and she she might be late to this uh, to where she's going so our job is we gotta um, get her stuff we gotta pack up get in the car drive to meet mommy and we're going to go on an adventure to get her where she needs and see if we can make it in time and uh it was ex <laughs> my three-year-old beckham seemed excited about it because uh, he's always watching like puppy dog pals and paw patrol all these little like cartoons where <laughs> every episode is about like rescuing somebody or going on some type of, of adventure so i think it was fun for him but I use this example to talk about framing because I think a lot of times um, something happens that um, could be perceived as a setback or something that you don't want to do or trouble. And I think what we can do is reframe the way we're thinking about it to be an adventure. Just like I did. You know, this example of um, going out to telling the kids we got to go out and meet mommy and, you know, get there in time. I know that's something for like you can do for a little kid's mind to get excited about and it seems silly for an adult to to <laughs> think of it as an adventure and getting excited but try it because it actually is fun because I, as I did it I was living through my children kind of in their mindset and like being out in the car driving with them doing something that was spur of the moment and not planned it, being together with them and going to meet my wife. It just, it was fun, kind of. When it could have been something that was more uh, a pain in the ass, it was actually fun. And it, it all comes down to the way you're thinking about a situation, how you frame it. And I want you to try and use that in your life. So if you run into something that seems like a problem or trouble or an issue, reframe it and say, life is an adventure and make it an adventure. How can you make it fun? Even if it seems really silly and completely like, just like you're deceiving yourself, just try it, play with it. As adults, we don't have enough fun. We always take things too seriously. Try and make life an adventure. Try and make potential problems an adventure. All right. Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our next edition of OC's Daily Meditation. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on my Facebook page, OC's Daily Med Meditation, go ahead and hit the like button on the video. Uh, if you want to share it, feel free. And um, go ahead and if you have any Facebook friends, family, who you think are interested in meditation or self-reflection, go on my page and there's an invite your, your friends button where you can invite anyone who you think would be interested. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow.